Have you ever wondered how we could make our food production more sustainable, efficient, and eco-friendly? In the quest for sustainable farming, one solution stands out as a promising contender, aquaponics. This isn't just a fancy term, it's a revolutionary concept that combines the best of two worlds. Aquaculture, the practice of raising aquatic animals like fish, and hydroponics, the method of growing plants without soil. Imagine having a closed-loop system, where the waste produced by the fish serves as an organic nutrient source for the plants. In return, the plants naturally filter the water, creating a clean environment for the fish to thrive. This isn't just a win-win situation for the fish and the plants, it's a triumph for us too. With aquaponics, we can produce more food using less water and space, and without the need for harmful fertilizers or pesticides. Aquaponics is an innovative method that could revolutionize the way we grow our food. But how does aquaponics work, you might ask? Well, it's quite simple and ingenious. At its core, aquaponics is a marriage of aquaculture and hydroponics. Aquaculture is the practice of raising fish or other aquatic creatures, while hydroponics is the cultivation of plants in water. So, aquaponics combines these two in a symbiotic environment. The system begins with the fish. They are fed a diet, and naturally, they produce waste. Now, this waste might seem like a problem, but in an aquaponics system, it's a part of the solution. You see, fish waste is rich in ammonia, which is harmful to the fish but beneficial to the plants. Here's where the magic happens. The water, filled with the fish's waste, is pumped from the fish tank to the grow beds where the plants are housed. These plants don't just absorb the ammonia-filled water, they are in a symbiotic relationship with bacteria that reside in the grow bed. These bacteria play a crucial role in the aquaponics system. They break down the ammonia from the fish waste into nitrates. Nitrates are a form of nitrogen that plants can absorb and use to grow. Once the bacteria have done their job, the plants then absorb these nitrates effectively filtering the water. But the plants don't just take, they give back too. Once the plants have absorbed the nitrates the water is now clean and is returned back to the fish tank. The fish now have fresh clean water to live in and the cycle begins anew. This is the beauty of an aquaponics system. It's a closed loop system that mimics nature's way of recycling waste. It uses no soil, requires less water than traditional farming and it's sustainable. It's a win-win situation for both the fish and the plants. So in essence, aquaponics creates a symbiotic environment where fish and plants help each other grow. Now that we understand how aquaponics works, you may be wondering, what are its benefits? Well, there are a plethora of benefits that come from adopting aquaponics. First and foremost, this method of farming is an absolute champion when it comes to water conservation. Traditional farming methods can use up to 10 times more water than aquaponics. This is because the water in an aquaponic system is constantly recycled and reused, making it an excellent solution for regions where water is scarce. Another advantage of aquaponics is that it produces completely organic produce. Since the health of both the fish and the plants are interdependent, the use of synthetic chemicals is not an option. This means that the vegetables grown are not only healthier for consumption but also taste better. Then comes the aspect of high yield. The closed-loop system of aquaponics creates a symbiotic relationship between the fish and the plants, resulting in a surplus of both. The fish provide the necessary nutrients for the plants and in turn, the plants clean the water for the fish. This results in faster growth rates for both, leading to a higher yield in a shorter time frame. A lesser known but equally important benefit of aquaponics is its potential to reduce our carbon footprint. By sourcing food locally, we can greatly reduce the energy and resources required for transportation. This is where aquaponics shines as it can be implemented in urban settings, turning even the smallest rooftop or backyard into a productive green oasis. And finally, aquaponics promotes local food production. This not only ensures fresher, tastier produce but also boosts local economies and creates a sense of community. Plus, it's a fantastic way to educate people about sustainable farming practices and the importance of food security. With these benefits, aquaponics is indeed a game-changer in sustainable farming. Intrigued by the concept and benefits of aquaponics? Here's a simple guide on how you can start your own aquaponics system. Setting up an aquaponic system may seem like a daunting task, but it's simpler than you might think. All it takes is a bit of understanding and the right materials. At its core, an aquaponic system consists of three main components, a fish tank, a grow bed, and a pump. The fish tank is where your fish will live, and it's also the source of the nutrients your plants will need. 
The type of fish you choose will depend on your local climate and your personal preference. Tilapia is a popular choice due to its hardy nature and fast growth rate, but other fish like carp, perch, or catfish can also be used. It's important to remember that the health of your fish is crucial to the success of your aquaponic system, so choose wisely. Next up, the grow bed. This is where your plants will thrive. The grow bed needs to be a shallow watertight container filled with a suitable growing medium. Clay pebbles are a popular choice, as they're lightweight and allow for good water flow. When it comes to choosing plants, leafy greens like lettuce and spinach do particularly well, but you can also try tomatoes, cucumbers or even herbs like basil or mint. The final component is the pump. This is what circulates the water from the fish tank to the grow bed. You'll need a submersible pump, one that's powerful enough to move the water but not so powerful it disturbs your fish. The pump is also responsible for oxygenating the water which is vital for both fish and plants. Now let's get down to setting up your system. Start by placing your fish tank on a sturdy surface. Next, position your grow bed above the fish tank, ensuring it's secure. Install your pump in the fish tank with a pipe leading to the grow bed. Fill the fish tank with water and turn on the pump to check the water flow. Once you're happy with the setup, you can add your fish. Remember to give your fish time to acclimate to their new home before adding plants to the grow bed. Once your fish are settled in, you can start adding plants to the grow bed. Start with a few plants and gradually increase the number as your system matures. Keep an eye on your system, monitoring the health of your fish and plants. It's a delicate balance but once you've got it right you'll be rewarded with a thriving aquaponic system. With these steps, you're ready to start your journey in sustainable farming through aquaponics. To wrap up, let's revisit the wonders of aquaponics. This innovative system represents a harmonious blend of aquaculture and hydroponics, offering a sustainable solution to the challenges of conventional farming. At its core, aquaponics revolves around the symbiotic relationship between fish and plants. The waste produced by the fish serves as an organic food source for the plants, and in turn, the plants naturally filter the water in which the fish live. It's a beautiful, self-sustaining cycle that mimics the wonders of nature right in your backyard. The benefits of aquaponics are numerous and impressive. It uses less water than traditional farming methods, making it an excellent choice in areas where water is scarce. It's also a space saver as you can grow a high density of vegetables in a small area. Plus, you get the added bonus of fresh organic fish and vegetables right at your fingertips. No chemical fertilizers or pesticides are needed, which means it's healthier for you and better for the environment. Setting up an aquaponic system is not as daunting as it may seem. It requires an investment of time and resources, yes, but the payoff is worth it. You'll need a fish tank, a grow bed for your plants, a water pump, and an air pump. Once you've got these basics, you can start experimenting with different types of fish and plants to see what works best in your unique setup. Wouldn't it be wonderful to play an active role in the aquaponics revolution, contributing to a more sustainable future while enjoying the fruits and fish of your labor? This method of farming doesn't just produce food, it cultivates a sense of fulfillment and connection to the natural world. So why not give it a try? Take the plunge into the world of aquaponics. Whether you're an experienced farmer or a home gardening enthusiast, this could be the sustainable farming method you've been searching for. Indeed, aquaponics is an exciting revolution in sustainable farming, providing a win-win situation for both our planet.